Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Indian report. We're going to cover China and Hong Kong first and then um, the Nifty. So just on the daily chart here, and we'll just stay with this here, is that, um, as you may know, um, China is doing what the feds are doing, pumping money into the system, and uh, it's showing up in the equity markets, and uh, we're looking at a nice strong third wave here. So uh, it's interesting to see the, um, you know, because we always had this as the A, the B, and the C here, and then we counted meticulously all the way up here for five waves here, and then we saw the ABC correction come into play uh, here. So then we knew that uh, we could take the top of wave one out here, and um, be long from that point. So it's interesting to see the wave count sort of set up at this point and then see the news to come in and fit the pattern rather than the other way around. That's the beautiful thing about Elliott Wave. It almost sort of makes um, destiny sort of preordained, uh, making destiny, well, accurate, really. Um, anyway, apart from the philosophical side of life, um, which is always, well, it's a beautiful thing about the markets, isn't it? I mean, not only the, do the markets connect us to the rest of the world, um, it just brings in so much other beautiful topics like mathematics and philosophy and so on. Um, so we're in a third wave here. So from wave two here up to wave three here, we're still looking for um, the five waves, the impulse wave of one and two and three and four and five to here. So I'm just assuming this is one and two in here. And this is the third wave here, fourth wave and a fifth wave here. Taking some profit in um, in this space here would uh, be okay because uh, we can always enter back in over here and it'll take a bit of pressure off us. I'm moving the stop up under this low uh, to here and uh, we'll look to um, add to this uh, at different stages. Once once things become clear here, we'll be able to do a few, a few more things. So Hong Kong, I'll leave China, and Hong Kong is uh, tagging along, not as powerfully, but uh, tagging along all the same. So our count of one and two here, and then one ABC for two here, and going long here, I've moved the stop up to break even here. I can see that this third wave has still got further to go, and um, I can see five waves in here, and then we've got this move here. So this may come down a little bit further here before moving up here a little bit higher here. Once again, taking some profit off the uh, off the table uh, into group two here. So group two is uh, 65. Well, in this case, it's 26,500. And then 72 in this case is 27,200. And then the 28 here, the minor trading level. So group two here, the midpoint here. Um, yeah, so it's this whole market still pointing up here in terms of one and two here and one and two here. And just, you know, I could this, this could be counted differently because, um, for instance, here, this uh, wave one here roughly to here roughly, we would probably a bit more, but we'd need to see that. Um, you know, we need to see this wave three much, you know, further than this here. Uh, we could probably look at this as uh, grab that wave two there, then move that over to here. So we should really be looking at 28,800 um, here for for this wave three here. So I'll just copy that and put that up there for the time being. But we'll track the actual count as well. Uh, for this. Um, I mean, obviously, this market's just tagging along. It's got, this country's got, uh, you know, a, a certain amount of issues and uh, around it with China and capital flowing out of uh, Hong Kong, looking for looking for other places. So it's really just being lifted, you know, it's a bit like the S&P being lifted by, by the tech stocks. Okay, over to India now. And India is also displaying the same sorts of uh, patterns here as well in its own way. And we're looking at uh, wave three, possibly uh, in this space here to move up to the next level up here. 
So let's go in and have a look. So that next level is 11,500, which is a medium level. Medium levels are just halfway between major levels. So 10,000 and 13,000 here. So the 13 is because of the Fibonacci numbers, uh, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13. But we put the 10 in here because it's it, we use the power of 10, so 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, so one, two, three, uh, starting off at that point. So 11,500, anyway, is what we're looking for there. Um, of course, um, there's lots of other numbers in here that we need to consider for various things. Let's go in and have a little bit of a look at this here. So I'm thinking we've got one and two here, as I mentioned before, then one and two here for this and then moving to the upside here but we want to see this if this is wave one here and two here then we need to see wave three here you know bigger than wave one and we're getting that <coughs> in a bit of definition from here um, it's possible to drop um, i understand it's possible to drop wave one and two into this space here and three four and five here but it would leave us a little bit short on the length of wave one here so putting that here so i'm thinking we're better off moving up here i still need to do work on this which i haven't done i've just been doing other work trying to build ourselves a new website and all those sorts of things that one does um so yeah i just think this has still got further to go one of the important things here is that um well, we've been through 10,500, so we don't need that. The next level up here is 10,800. So 800 is important, and, and of course uh, 11,000 is going to be important as well. We just don't ignore numbers like that. So we'll give that some definition there. And uh, yeah, so I think it's going to be something like this here with wave three here, wave four here, and then wave five up here for wave three here, then wave four here. So we need to move through step by step. We've had a few trades in here. Let's just go in and take a closer look. Now, this is a different way that I've got it counted here with, with wave one and two here and three and four here and moving up in that fashion. And that's okay too, that, that works. But what we're going to do is we just go, because I haven't had time to look at, pull the structure apart, um, we're just going to uh, use the levels. So we know that 11,000 is next on the agenda here. So let's just go into the one hour chart here for a moment. This is where we've been working. We just bring these across. So we've been counting up here. We had a few trades in here. We've taken profit here because we're in group two here. So group two is 65, 72 and 80, as you know. And uh, yeah, we got what we came for, a correction. We took profit, correction. And uh, we've, I think we've moved back in on the 15 minute chart here. So we're looking for one and two and three and four and five here. That move there in three, uh, three waves could also be corrective the way that that's come down sharply here. But I'll give it the benefit of the doubt, but that low needs to stay in there. So if you're long at that point, that low there needs to stay there. Otherwise you need to be out because a larger correction is occurring at that point. Uh, so I see ourselves pushing up into this move here and that would give us five of five of five here so um, that's probably not right at that place there as well but um, um, let me just check here I mean I've done all the right things here so we just need to be careful above this one new high here and this trend line here that we've had here this speed line through here and here and through here, cutting through here. It's a nice balance line through here. So we need to be mindful of that up the top up here. Um, if it gets on the other side, well then that's, if it if while the market's above the level here, then it's powerful and while it's dropped back, it's just like an indicator. You could see it as, uh, as I mentioned before, you know, um, overbought and oversold on this side. Um, let's just go to the 15 minute chart here for a second. So yeah, remember now, so um, 
for the diehards, we went to uh, go long above this impulse wave here, basically, and the market has pulled back down through here, but I'm just moving the stop up into this space here. We don't want that low to come out. We don't need to go that low, but we could just get to break even here. That would be fantastic. Um, so any move above this high here, you can also look to go long on as well and uh, just see how far we go. But basically we've got one and two here, but I'd like to call that wave three, but it's just pulled down so much. So we may be in a situation we've got wave one and two here, then one and two here. Um, but either way, um, this could also be a B wave in here as well. So we just need to be mindful that the correction just that we've seen in group two just doesn't um, get bigger here in terms of, of all of all of this here. So <clears throat> I mean, I've got it as an A and a B and a C here, which is nice, <clears throat> but uh, it could get a bit larger here with wave four <clears throat> sitting over here. And that would give us um, wave one here, two here, three, four and five. Um, just have to keep an eye on the NASDAQ there. The NASDAQ is basically leading the situation, but it doesn't matter. What we've done here is we've got to break even, which is step step one. Um, and we can look to add to the positions if the 800 becomes the support. And that's kind of what we're looking at here, really, because when you look at it from a different perspective outside the box, we could say, is that 800 support yet? And we would have to say no, because it hasn't come back. And I mean, it's it's testing it all the time, but it just hasn't testing it here. But it, it hasn't got there yet, you know, and it hasn't taken out, you know, in in. Well, you've got to kind of keep the, this is one pattern here. This is another pattern here. And then this is another pattern here for this. So I can't I can't say go long here because it's not part of this one. But now we can go. We would normally go this one here and then we bring it down to the second high, don't we? So we're basically looking for a situation like this here. So the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level. Basically, we're looking for it to become support. That's all. Um, and this is another way to look at it where it doesn't come back down, but it has pulled back down, but it may get to that stage too. So, you know, we need to see the market at the 800 as support and it's only support when it takes out the next highs here, then it becomes obvious that it's support. Otherwise, if it was sitting here, we wouldn't know if it was support or not. Needs to, that high is critical in both cases. That high is critical because that would tell us that. Otherwise, it can just drop from that point. Um, so we'll see. Anyway, we're, um, we're just taking a trading point. We've got our trading hat on, not our analysis hat on. That's the difference. Alrighty, uh, thanks for tuning in. Enjoy the weekend. Cheers.